As the executor of Mr. Muldoon's estate, I have been empowered to read Mr. Muldoon's last will and testament. Well, get on with it. The bar's open soon. <laughs> oh, poor dear Arthur! Ah! Oh, there, there, Jenny. God, how predictably boring. I never work for a kinder man. If we are all seated, I shall proceed with the reading. I knew it. <laughs> I, Arthur Durham Muldoon, being of sound mind and body... That's a laugh. <laughs> ...do hereby divide up my considerable estate as follows. To my overly emotional sister, Jenny... <laughs> Jenny, darling, he's talking about us. Oh. ...who grubbed with her husband, Hank, grubbed for everything they could get from me, and then cried crocodile tears when I needed sympathy... What? To Jenny, I leave a boot to the head. A what? Ow! <laughs> Jenny, are you okay? And another boot to her wimpy husband, Hank. Ow! <laughs> this is an outrage. Ah, uh, but still, you are my sister. You have both admired my Rolls Royce, and since I no longer need it... Oh, dear Arthur, he's too kind. I bequeath another boot to the head. What? Ow! <laughs> and one more for the wimp. Next to my alcoholic brother... Hey, I don't want no boot to the head. <laughs> to dear Hedge, who has never worked a day in his drunken life... I'm covering up my head. I leave my wine cellar and three crates of my finest whiskey. Really? And a boot to the head. Oh! <laughs> and another for Jenny and the wind. Oh! Oh! Next to my know-it-all nephew, Ralston... This is so predictable. I leave a boot to the head. Oh, I knew it. And one for Jenny and the Wimp. Oh! Oh! This takes care of family obligations. And now to Mrs. Mulroy. Oh, I don't want nothing. Who took care of me faithfully these many, many years. Who cared, made me laugh, brought me tea. Oh, I didn't mind. To Mrs. Mulroy, I bequeath a boot to the head. Oh! And one for Jenny and the Wimp. And so, to my cat mittens, I leave my entire vast boot to the head. <laughs> and finally, to my lawyer, who has helped me on this will, I leave not a boot to the head, but a rabid Tasmanian devil to be placed in his trousers. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> and, and, and I leave my entire estate of $10 million to the people of Calgary so they can afford to move somewhere decent. <laughs> That's it? That's disgraceful. Yeah, that's okay. There's one last thing for everyone. Cover your heads, everybody. <laughs> I leave everyone a lifetime supply of ice cream. Ice cream? Ice cream. Ice cream. That's all? That's all. Well, what flavor is it? Boot to the head. Oh! <laughs> 